Despicable Three. Morning everyone. We are at Manchester Airport today at Terminal 2, going to Cancun in Mexico. So excited about it. A little bit less exciting though. I don't know if you cast your minds back a bit to the Jubilee weekend when it was travel chaos all in the news particularly Manchester Airport, particularly Tui. We saw on Facebook yesterday the people who were on the same flight as us yesterday at a six hour delay. So we were like getting prepared for all that. Then we've had an email last night say Tui have leased out this flight to... High Fly. High Fly. Us neither. Which, <laughs> got no idea. From a bit of Googling, it looks like the white van man of the skies, as Jimmy so <laughs> kindly put it, didn't you? Yeah, because there's like no marking, no nothing, it's just... It's just a plain aeroplane that they hire when they need to. That's what we're uh, mentally preparing for. The check-in opens four hours before departure, which is at 10.20. We're at half five at the moment. So we're 50 minutes early for that, just for in preparation of like the travel chaos. So we'll keep you posted and see how it goes. We've kind of joined like the pre-queue, haven't we? For before the check-ins actually open. Before Wenger Airlines arrive. <laughs> well, we're going on the Wenger bus Wenger to Mexico. Bus. <laughs> Update, at about quarter to six, they've opened up the queue, but they're not opening up the bag drop yet until 6.25. So it's about 10 to now, got half an hour to go. It's like getting to town was dead early, and then this is a bit where you're inside the park and you're waiting for the Wicker Man. Yeah, we're, we're calling this the Wicker Man pre-queue, aren't we? They've opened up the check-in desks at 10 past six, so a little bit early. We're quite nervous now to see if we're going to be sat together, because we haven't paid to pre-book our seats, have we? Nervous which way, though? What do you mean? What, that we're sat that together? We sat together. <laughs> there are two planes going out today. There's a Jamaica and a Cancun, and it is a busy queue, isn't it? It is now 6.27, and again, this is like all the two queue going down here. But we're all checked in, Jimmy, aren't we? Yeah. We're sat together, which is nice, and oh, we're going... Are... Yeah, we are, yeah. Why we're sat... Are we all sitting together? Yeah, we're all sitting together. She said that through Britain, <laughs> so we're all sat well... together, which is nice. <laughs> we were going to bag you off, weren't we, if we're only uh, two, two and a one. We're heading up to security now, so we'll see how that's like at 6.30am on a bank holiday Friday. We did prepay for the fast track security, and we paid for that. What do we pay? We paid for that through the airport hotel, didn't we? Through holiday extras. It was about a couple of weeks before they suspended selling the fast track, so we're hoping that it still works because we haven't had a refund for it, have we? So the fast track for security, we were straight to the front, weren't we? It was five minutes. <laughs> Best <laughs> we're... 15 quid we've ever spent that, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. And when we booked that, it was before there was all the travel chaos. So, I mean, it must have been like a premonition for Jim to... Nostradamus. <laughs> yeah, Nostradamus. On a tweet that Jim saw, they were saying that the Q for security was 30 minutes. I'll say that looked about right. About right yeah. It's moving quickly. It's busy, but it's, it's, it's fine. And at the end of the day, you're going on your holidays, so you can't moan, can you? <laughs> We've made it through to the terminal two after security. So we're just trying to suss out what's around. So we're entering here. On your horn. WH Smith's have got a massive duty free. So in terms of breakfast, don't know what Archie's is. Looks like upstairs, they've got Bridgewater Exchange. I bet that's the weather spoons. What do you reckon? Bike and mama. We did also have the lounge book, didn't we? But they cancelled that on us. A few options for breakfast. Wagamama does do breakfast, but we don't really like the look on the menu. Our two options that both have queues is San Carlo, or over here is that Bridgewater Exchange. And this looks like it's got the biggest queue but I bet it's got the most standard menu. I thought you were going to go for a Bridgewater exchange, but you've gone for the San Carlo. I thought that's somewhere a bit more up market. Yeah. San Carlo, breakfast capital. <laughs> Hope it's not no effort, no entry. Got your uh, tracky bees on. Rest to impress. <laughs> With this being such a long flight today, it's like 10, 11 hours, isn't it? We've decided to properly like dress for comfort, haven't we? And not for, I don't know, anyone else's benefit. All style, no substance. <laughs> <laughs> All substance, no style. Substance, no style. <laughs> anyway. Look, uh, I'm here with my feeler tracky bottoms <laughs> on. I feel like a king amongst men. I'm wearing some like leggings and a long sleeve top. But at the end of the day, when it's like that long a flight and we have the potential delays as well, we had to just like go for comfort, didn't we? Are you hungry? Yes, actually, very hungry. I thought it was actually been hurting. That's it. Hello Hungry, I'm Dad. <laughs> this is the menu for San Carlo. It's quite a simple menu, but that's quite good because I remember at that giraffe 
I was really struggling. So I think we'll probably go for just like cook breakfast. It's gonna be a long day, so we need fueling up. And then this is the kids' breakfast. So the kids can choose four things there, which I think is really quite good because kids can be fussy. It is really pretty in here though, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. Jim even said what swung it for him looking at it was he liked the look of the tree over there, didn't you? We're also quite happy we're sat down this end because just out here, it's like a bit of a runway view. But you can see some planes anyway. I never would have guessed that we would have been checked in and through security by like half six. Oh, so happy, yeah. We've got, yeah, we've got plenty of time. So plan is have breakfast, we'll have a little look around some shops and then we'll find somewhere to camp out. One of the weirdest things for us is seeing Orlando on a board and we're not going there. It's funny how the Orlando's right next to the Cancun as well. Now is it too late to change our mind? <laughs> oh, go to Orlando instead. It's way Garrett said in Rhode Island. Yeah. We need to cut it loose. We need to cut it loose, don't we, Orlando? That was just sensible. <laughs> <laughs> now that the table next to us have gone, I can sort of give you a little bit of a better view of the runway that we've got. Yeah, it feels just really relaxing at the moment. I think in my head with what you've seen in the news, I was expecting a bit more sort of like hecticness or like people looking stressed and like hustling. Then. Do you know what I mean? Staff have all been really like yeah. friendly, haven't they? And having the people, so yeah. I was expecting Disney rope drop vibes. <laughs> you know when you like rush into the ride that you want. Can't have any complaints so far though. Yeah, on. no, it's been lovely. Here is the grande breakfast. I've had scrambled egg, Jim's had fried egg with his. Looks really nice, doesn't it? Especially the cherry tomatoes. You've tried the scrambled egg already, haven't you, Jimmy? Yeah, and a bit of sausage really good. Yeah? The scrambled egg is very buttery though. Yeah, that's nice. I like it buttery. Buttery biscuit egg. <laughs> and yeah, the, the buttery biscuit bass song. I like the bass, the buttery biscuit bass. When, no, okay, I'll have to educate I think you. That's a bit uh, your time. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the bill. So we've got the tea, two breakfast, kids' breakfast, two juices, and it was 41 85 Well, we really enjoyed that breakfast, didn't we? Good, yeah, solid. Really, really good quality food in there. We're going to have a little wander around the shops now. So we've headed back through the duty free to the WH Smith's that's like the first thing you come to, to through security. Can't get my words out. We're really not sure of what the entertainment's going to be like on this. Well, God, what's it called? High Fly. High no, Fly. Noel on... Gallagher's airline. <laughs> Noel Gallagher's High Flying. Personal airline. <laughs> so I think we're going to stock up on magazines, take a break for the puzzles. What do you reckon? We'll soon whittle away that <laughs> ten and a half hours. <laughs> got a selection here, got a bit of True Detective, a couple of take a breaks, and Jim's going for the Scientific American. <laughs> I thought I'd just brush up on my quantum computer <laughs> the uh, duration of the flies. <laughs> We're going to have a little wander through the duty free now. All we got in that other shop was the magazines. Surprisingly, not the quantum physics though, eh, Jimmy? <laughs> Dad, you get the quantum physics? Got a quantum computing, no. Dad's more quantum leap than quantum computing. I'm going back there and getting it. This might sound really random, but one of my favourite things at the airports are all like the really random like Harry Bows that you get. Or do you remember, Jimmy, like the cruise mix where there was like the special Harry Bows that you could only get on the cruises? Yeah, there's always, there's always stuff like that, like the special ones. Like Speciality that. sweets. <laughs> Look at this, you get a recorder. Can you imagine going on an aeroplane with a recorder? People have got absolutely mad at you. One thing that I did really need to buy once we got through security was some moisturiser. So I picked up some Aveeno. Uh, I forgot to pack any and I didn't realise until I got to the airport last night. That Aveeno one. did flow. Aveeno did flow. Things with it being a hot holiday, would be dry then a piece of bread without any butter dry if we didn't get any moisturiser so we needed some of that. Uh, that was 7 99 from WH Smith so I've just got a bottle of pop as well. £2.59. Still cheaper than a aquatic at that. Like, so. I thought there was going to be a Boots. There, there was a Boots here before. I'm sure. Yeah we've seen one sign of one that they're renovating to do up but I thought there would be multiple boots around the place. There isn't really that many shops to like go and look round is there? It's not bad. A few. This is a nice little area where there's tons of seats. So where we are here there's a WH Smith's, there's a Barberito and there's a pan round, there's a pret a manger like a milkshake place and a place called Pot Kettle Black. As Jim said though there is plenty of seating all around this area isn't there? It's not been a struggle to find a table to sit down. Definitely more tables and chairs than there are boots. <laughs> <laughs> so we still need to go around and buy some waters, don't we, for the aeroplane, so... I thought you were staying hydrated on the cherry What, 500ml bottle for three of us? I appreciate this won't be news by the time this video comes out, but re all this week on the news it's been about cancellations, hasn't it, on flights. There are a few up there, so Orlando Air Lingus, there's a few Tui ones on there as well, like Rhodes, Funchal, I don't know what that is, or La Maca. That was one of our top worries, wasn't it? about cancellations well just feel quite lucky that so it seems that we're going ahead 
I suppose any plane is better than no plane, isn't it? Absolutely. It says up there on the board we've got about 45 minutes till they announce the gate, so it's not really that much longer that we've got to go, is it? But even now, though, when you're travelling, you yeah. can't be fully convinced you're going until, yeah. until you're in there. Yeah, 100%. So there's been stories of people being on the tarmac and they're getting taken back off again after sitting on it for two hours. Uh... So some of the joy has been eroded. <laughs> eroded. It's eroded like my own life. <laughs> the joy of travelling. <laughs> after looking at water in WH Smiths, it seems like the best deal on water is in duty free. So that's £1.45 a bottle. So I'm just going to quickly grab three of these. I've just picked up those three bottles of water that I showed you from the duty free. But while the lads are sitting down, I'll just show you what is around at this terminal. There really isn't much, but there's a bit of stuff to have a look around. This by far seems like the quietest shop, this beauty collection. So they've got lots of perfumes and things there. This is where I was talking about earlier. It seems like Boots isn't open yet. They're working on a new store, but it looks like that'll be really big with what the boards up at the moment. Over to the left there there's an accessorise and up those escalators is where we went for breakfast up there that's San Carlo. So there's a few like bars and restaurants up there but in terms of like recognisable stores from the high street you've got accessorise there. Over to my right you've got JD. It's quite a big JD and then it's pretty much just WH Smiths and duty free apart from that. Another sort of bars and restaurants down here. So it's down here past JD which is where the bigger of the two WH Smiths are so they have got like the moisturizer and sort of toiletries and meal deals and things in here and then the lads are sat just down here to my left there we are and then we're back round to this area here i'm getting a little bit nervous now about what this plane's gonna be like <laughs> high fly i keep on wanting to say was there it's high sounds, fly. it sounds top class to me but high fly yeah. One thing when we were Googling last night is, is there going to be any entertainment? Because it's 10 to 11 hours long, we're worried that there aren't going to be any like films to watch or anything like that. You can have a matinee performance for me if you want to. <laughs> matinee performance? Yeah. It'll be a long flight if there's any entertainment. But yeah. hopefully they've charted something like for life. We're hoping so. Jimmy's got a Switch, a Kindle, a couple of magazines, his phone. We've got the laptop with Strange Things downloaded on it. I've got my phone I've downloaded a load of musical theatre albums what have you got your My wit imagination. your imagination so you've got nothing have you to be honest if they're any entertainment I'm planning on just getting trying to get some sleep yeah eye mask face mask yeah the beautiful cover for a, an open dribbly mask <laughs> um, yeah I'll just get my head down I think me and Jim have both agreed though if it was a case of either the six hour delay that the folks had yesterday or going on whatever plane is today even with no entertainment we still would rather take that than sort of be sat around here for sitting around here for six hours do you agree I've agreed yeah. yeah we just want to get there now so excited to see the hotel aren't we What's left of it after the tropical storm? Yeah, there's been a tropical, there's been a tropical storm there this week, and uh, there's been bits of plaster falling on the floor. So we'll see. We booked a uh, convertible room, haven't we? Convertible room. <laughs> Dropped off. <up. laughs> <laughs> Sunroof. The roof is not on fire. There is no roof. <laughs> True story though. Mexico is somewhere that has always been on our list, but this Planet Hollywood only opened was it last year when we were looking for Mexico hotels, and they've got like a Fast and Furious car. They've got loads of like movies memorabilia and I think if people have watched our videos before they'll know that we love like hard rock and all of like the memorabilia and the feels you get but then having it all movie themed is like another level up for us isn't it yeah really excited it's as close to Universal Studios you can get without going to Universal Studios <laughs> as close to Universal Studios I like to get these days <laughs> again <laughs> Same quote, different day. <laughs> different context. <laughs> While we're waiting for the gate to be announced, it just literally disappeared off the board, like the whole line. And that hasn't happened to any other flights, has it, Jim? No. Just, just the whole Only one. high fly. Only, only high fly, high yeah. High flyers. There was loads of people like behind us and that uh, also waited for the Cancun. And then there was some whispers about what gate it was. And we think it's B4. We've overheard people say it's B4. It's pure hearsay. Yeah. It's, it's absolute hearsay how we've got this gate announcement. So we have to go B4. It's too late. Oh, but um, <laughs> It's pure and simple. Yeah, yeah. We've come down here. There's B4 over there. And rightly so, it's got Cancun 1020. The whispers were correct, right? <laughs> now it's just another waiting game. Last time we got to this point was when we were told we were delayed indefinitely. So <laughs> this is like the most nerve wracking bit for me. Me and Jimmy are having a quick look to see if we can spot the plane. We're thinking maybe it's that one there because I don't recognise that sort of symbol on the tail. Could be Jimmy. 
we had a right result there, didn't we? So loads of people were queuing to get up and then they're like, oh, rose 54 to 37. So we just ended up going past loads of people queuing. We are row 54, so I think we're going to be at the very back. But... Andy for the lose, not so handy for the space. <laughs> We're driving now, but we've literally got no idea what plane we're using. It's quite nerve-wracking seeing where we're going to stop, isn't it? It's like Wheel of Fortune, like what plane we're going to get. Emirates, no, it's not Emirates. We're here. We're here. Flypop. We're going on the Flypop plane. It's behind you there, Flypop. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's quite cheerful. It's a cheerful tail. Yeah, but... Right. Wish us luck. Flypop, you ready? I'm so nervous to see what's on there, what the seats are like. There's some good news, it is a Rolls Royce. It's got Rolls Royce engine. Positives are that it's a 333 configuration. Negatives, it looks like we've got no entertainment for 10 hours. When we went on our last Florida holiday, so our last travel day, there was no food or drink for nine hours. Now we've got no entertainment for 10 hours. I don't mind starving or like <laughs> dehydrating. But no time. We've got to our seats, which is the very, very back row, but we've been told that we're going to have to be moved because they've got a lot of extra staff on or something. So we don't know where we're going to be sitting. We've got no entertainment, but we've got a puzzle book. <laughs> Rob not filmed at this exact <laughs> We've been moved a little bit further forward now, so now everyone's on the plane. Look, we've managed to get a row where there's like no one's behind us as well, so hopefully that'll stay empty. The other good thing being at the back of this plane is I'll show you the space that we've got. So where I'm sat here, we've got three seats in the middle and there's like two on the edges, but a bit further forward it goes to like a 333. But as you can see, we've got like a nice bit of space to the side of us. So now that's all the pros complete. <laughs> <laughs> now for the cons. No, but you know what, we're on and I feel a lot less claustrophobic than I did on the BA planes when we went to Florida, so. I've heard whispers that the food load is incredible. Really? No. no. <laughs> the Manchester airport I've seen on the news is becoming a bit more evident, isn't it? So we're all sat on the plane and apparently the delays are, they're not like loading up the plane quick enough um, at Manchester. So he's hoping 10 to 15 minutes time. It's quite funny, the, uh, the captain and the Yeah. If they uh, hurry up a bit, so he's actually not quite dead impressed, is he? Yeah, yeah, and that was the delay in like getting on the plane as well. So we were supposed to take off like nearly an hour ago now, but... Is what it is. We'll go. We'll get Maybe there. Maybe the bad taking off the menagerie and pets and all that. I swear. I, I can't smell any animals. I can't. <laughs> Jimmy's reading his Wheat Junior magazine, aren't you, mate? It's quite a good magazine, actually. We've packed two, so keep us going for. Can I have that when you're done, Jim? <laughs> <laughs> you could probably learn something from it, Jim. <laughs> probably learn a lot. <laughs> Here we go. It's 11:21, so we're about an hour and 20 minutes late, but we're going. It's takeoff time. <laughs> That's takeoff, Jimmy. Do you feel it? You can like feel that lift, can't you? Uh, ooh. Seems really good. We're turning in the air now. See down over the houses. My green and pleasant land. We're up in the air now, and they've come round with the forms. So this is one that you fill out, like one per family. And it's a bit of like a declaration one. I think we have to show this in customs. And then we've been given three of these fancy forms with the metallic writing on. So this is one each. So we all need to fill one of these out, including Jimmy. Don't know if this is just a bit information about yourself, I suppose. But at least it's given us an activity to perform, hasn't it? Some good news is you're getting full-size cans, aren't you, Jim? That was a very welcome bonus. And now we're all doing this code breaker together. This proper takes me back to my teenage years. My mum always used to get these take a break magazines and do the, the different puzzles. That's what people used to do on planes in the 1990s. <laughs> the kids meal has arrived for Jimmy. And it looks like it is still the two meals, even though obviously it's like a rental aircraft. And the meal is a tomato pasta, which to be honest, for quite a few years, that's what it's always been for the kids meal, hasn't it? I guarantee that's kids meal. Yeah. To be fair, it smells quite nice actually. <laughs> quite like the smell. You'll also get a baby bell, a fruit yo-yo, bear wine. Do you like those, don't you, Jimmy? And some buttons. How is it, mate? It's actually very, very nice. Yeah? The sauce and the cheese is wonderful. Yeah? It's one of the best airplane meals I've had. Like, ah. You like Baby Bell's Bear Winders and Buttons, so uh, Baby Bell's Bear Winders and Buttons, so am I. <laughs> <It's Don't> <laughs> <bring> <laughs> it, <don't> <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying that, mate. Genuinely. It is like pizza, I'd recommend it. 
the adults meals have come so we've got cheese and crackers and then this was a chicken tomato pasta bake which smells nice i'm actually quite glad it's this after smelling jimmy's earlier and then the pudding is a chocolate and orange ganache I'm not keen on orange chocolate, so Jimmy's going to have that and trade me for the buttons. Jim made a good point, I didn't even realise there's no choice, is there? It's just that's what you got, but to be fair, it's a crowd pleaser, isn't it? And you've only got, it's like the 1980s, you've only got four channels on the <laughs> We are now six hours into our ten hour journey, so we've still got another four to go. I actually don't think it's been as bad as what I thought it was going to be. I was really gutted when there weren't any entertainment, but we've done some puzzles all together, got a bit of a sleep. I've listened to Hades Town. Jimmy's now got the switch out. It's only you that's, uh, you've been a bit of a martyr, I'd say, Jim. He's pulling faces. So I'm saying to Jim, you know, what's going to be your next activity? And he's like, nothing, I'm sitting here. He's <laughs> not gone quickly. It's, not it's okay. gone quickly for me. The seats are well above. I get me a little bit of yard time when I go down to the loo. <laughs> yard time. <laughs> yeah. Yard time down at the loo. The only good thing, the food was good. What's that? Food was good. Food was good and it's spacious. We don't feel trapped in, you know, like with the gaps in it the... It is nice to the side. It's nice, spacious. Nice food. This particular bit nice to the side. Yeah. The end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the seats aren't very comfy. But uh, genuinely, it has gone quite quick for me. I've had a bit of true crime magazine. You have. Done that. Yeah, but then you won't take up me off for a take a break. You're like, no, no, no. But that's because I am a martyr. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you don't mind, I'm going to get back to see you staring at this headrest. <laughs> it's bleak. <laughs> it's not. You just need some activities. <laughs> Jimmy's currently playing the classic game of Risk on her. How is it, mate? It's really good, but like, everyone's going off with me, so I have to like really work. Let me tell you something, I won't risk again. <laughs> My harder money would do it. <laughs> We're about seven hours into the flight now, so still three or four to go. We've got a cream cheese and cucumber sub and a little cookie dough brownie, which is quite cute. To be fair, this cookie dough brownie is one of the best ones I've ever had. It's got like a hard slab of chocolate on the top. Good stuff, in it. That's delightful. It's now 9.12 in the UK, but 3.12 in Mexico, and we're starting the descent into Cancun now. You had a good flight, mate. To be fair, actually, it's not been bad, has it? Played some risk. Yeah, I truly enjoyed it. Just through the window, that's our first little view of the sea. It looks gorgeous. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we're here! Ready for a holiday? Are you ready? I'm ready. We are finally off the plane and it is that, even though we're not outside, like the heat hits you. In Mexico, you do still need to wear these when you get off the plane, so we are packed on, haven't we, Reggie? We didn't know that. We're just gonna queue up for immigration now, so we'll see you in a minute. We are through immigration, we've got the bags. You also have to do like an extra customs here where they like scan your bags before you exit. So that takes a bit of time, a bit of a queue. But now we've just got to find the TUI desk. Oh, oh, you found it. Oh, nice, that was easy. Just up ahead, you can see a TUI board just down there. One more queue, Jimmy. One last time. Tell you what, I'm a bit sweaty. All in all, I noted that we got off the aeroplane about seven minutes past 10 on my clock. So it's been about 50 minutes to go through immigration, get the bags, customs, and out here into this queue. It was a long queue, but it moved ever so quickly, didn't it? And I think that's the big thing, isn't it? So it like moves quickly, so it's, it's not too bad. Another top tip that we've picked up on is that form that I showed at the beginning. There's a top part and a bottom part that you've got to fill out, which we did do. But anyone who hadn't filled out that bottom part, they were kicking them out, asking them to fill out the form and then rejoin the queue. And they like, they're ruthless. They didn't care if you had like young kids, like nothing. They were kicking you out, weren't they? So definitely fill out both parts of the form. And also we noticed they give you that form when you first get on the aeroplane. And I think that's because when the uh, booze is flowing, you don't want to fill it out at the end. That was bedlam, wasn't it? Crazy. <laughs> Do you feel better now we're on the bus? Massively. Next stop, maybe a couple of other hotels and then Planet Hollywood, way. How excited are you on a scale of one to 10? 10. ten. We're en route now. The transfer's gonna take around an hour, but they have said that Planet Hollywood 
is the first stop for the hotels, which is quite lucky. We're enjoying looking at all the buildings and the cars and stuff, aren't we, Jim? For anyone interested, that's what the police cars look like in Mexico. So that's like a Robocop. <laughs> it does look a bit Robocop. You can see just up there, there's a sign for Isla Majuras, Isla Majuras. That's one of the trips that we're hoping to do in the next couple of weeks. Porto Cancun sign as well. It's been so interesting, like just looking out the windows and seeing all the different buildings. It's really quite busy, some of the places we've drove past. We are here. We're off and this is the lobby immediately when we've got off the coach. It looks so cool. Look at this. This looks so cool. Ooh. We've been waiting for this, haven't we? <gasps> look, we'll go, go look at that later. That's the Fast and Furious car there. They've got some sort of like light effect on the ceiling saying welcome. <laughs> As people come in, everyone starts clapping. That's so fun. Someone was there to greet us and have taken our three suitcases. So I'm guessing we'll hand that in and then they'll bring them up to our rooms in a bit. Jimmy's getting his wristband on. So this is what you use for like your room key and everything. Ready for it. The play area we got. We have an arcade here. <laughs> nice. We have a cinema. We have a lazy river. Okay. We got lots of shows going on every night, so I'm sure we're going to enjoy it. Do you like the wristband? There we go. Thank you. You're welcome. So I think the stars on it. That's for the kids for that one, and then the adults have their pH. We are all checked in and ready to go, aren't we? We certainly are. We're just going to have a little look around the lobby before we go in, check in with the bellboys for getting the suitcases up to the room. Oh yeah, it oh, looks incredible, wait. doesn't it? It smells really good too. So this was the entrance where we came in and then where we checked in was just over here. But as you walk in, they've got some outfits from different films. So this is a Hunger Games one, worn by Thresh. Very cool. This is one Jimmy was quite excited for. So this is from Captain America, the first Avenger, worn by Dum Dum Dugan. <laughs> Still cool though. This one's defo cool. This is from Moulin Rouge, as worn by Satine Nicole Kidman. This has got to be the coolest thing in here though. It's one of the cars from The Fast and the Furious. How awesome is that? You can see the car in the film. That is awesome. Big Fast and Furious fan. We also love these chairs here. I think that's Oprah on the chair. We're not going to have a full on explore just now, as much as I'd love to, because that looks wicked over there. We've just given our luggage tag to the concierge desk out the front, so he's loading up our suitcases and we're heading up to the room, aren't we? Ah! So excited to see the room. So, the room we've got, I'll go into a bit more detail up there. It's 27501, but it's one that we paid to pre book. They've got like a room selector. It was around 60 something dollars. So it's not like an upgraded room. It's just that we wanted that room for the view, isn't it? We're glad we managed to get it as well because we have read on some groups that they've got here and then the room isn't available and they've had to then like refund that sort of pre book money. So, where we checked into the left, if you were club level, which is what they call star class here, they have a separate check in to the right where you get to sit down while you're checking in. That looks super fancy. Oh my gosh, it's party vibes. So we've walked out the back of the lobby and our building is to the left and I think we're only like two buildings down. We're like not that far down here. Oh, we're being walked past the fuel. So Jimmy, that's where you can get like coffees and snacks. Live music's lovely. The food smells amazing. Can't get over just how cool this place looks. Jimmy, did that make you jump when they started singing? Singing is incredible. As we're walking through the corridors, there are so many posters with all different movies. We saw He-Man, didn't we? Nice. Right then, we are in the room and this has blown our minds, hasn't it? I'm just going to do you a quick show around. So we are 27501. Why welcome in? Let me show you around. So as you enter the room, you've got this like light thing here I that's projected down. It's so oh, cool, isn't it? This is amazing. We love a bit of in your face theming and this is so into the movies. We love it, don't we? Amazing. And then look how spacious this is. Basically a marathon down there. 
So this never picks up as well on cameras as it does when you're in person, but the ceiling height is unbelievable, isn't it? With the rooms, you can choose a two queen configuration or one king. So obviously with Zav and Jimmy, we've gone for the two queen. But what's awesome is you also get the sofa as well. Because how many hotels, it's you only get a sofa if you've got the king. And then as well as the sofa area, you've also got this little seating area with actor and director like Which is chairs. Just theming to it. It's so nice. And then I think you can pay for if you want like extra liquor in the optics, which we won't do. But how cool is this? Right, shall we show the best bit of this room? The balcony. It's not going to pick up as well on camera though. That's the only thing that worries me. All I can say is in person is a whole different level. It is unbelievable. The size of these balconies are absolutely massive. We talk about the size of the view. The, well, the size first of all, you've got your like little chairs there, but I'll show you the view. Oh, I can't wait to see this in the morning. I genuinely can't wait. So there's the kids club down there. We've got the splash park there, mini golf here. So the main buildings like the lobby where we checked in, that's building 26 it's like the next sort of building down so we're not that far away and these were some of the other buildings we could have picked from but we really wanted just this you can see the view and we're like so close to the amenities and things as well obviously the thing we're furthest away from is the beach down there but if you've got to be close to the beach or the buffet we're going for the buffet when you first see this in person it just makes you go, wow. So you've actually got sort of like two shelves, I suppose, haven't you? Because you've got that one there and there is another one right down there where the suitcases are. And then these wardrobes are massive. I love the handles on it with the P and H. Oh, got some robes, got an umbrella to use in the resort. Oh, and they light up as you open. Oh, what does that say? Natural yeah. beauty takes at least two hours in front of a mirror. Some drawers. Underneath the telly, we've got a shelf there with a plug we've also got the fridge everything in here is included and will get stocked up daily so that's quite nice sort of knowing that there isn't any sort of like up charges for the for the fridge and then in here it is a coffee maker that will be staying intact for like the whole, the whole trip won't it we're not the coffee drinkers and then the left hand wardrobe that's got the safe in and some more drawers I'll tell you what good size safe that's good because i bet that'll fit our laptop in the guy that bought the cases up he also showed us this here so this central panel here between the beds you can press um, that button here to turn all the lights off and on which is pretty cool Turn them back on. You can change the temperature between degrees in Celsius. You can change the ceiling fan. Really, really cool. Really like that. Also really like that in the bed, you've got um, little reading lights, just like in the headboards, which I think's lovely. This is one of Jimmy's favorite parts, isn't it? Just for like, so first of all, backstage. I just love that. <laughs> I don't know why, but that just gives me so much joy to see that. This is a cold bathroom. This is a cool bathroom. No, club bathroom. <laughs> so next to the backstage door is the loo, which is pretty self-explanatory, but it's like it's a, a self-contained loo, if that makes sense. Yes, it's just it's that true. on its own. Which I personally love. I mean, like, revolutionary. <laughs> and then you've got two sinks. So you've got the one next to the loo there, and you've got like the shelves, you've got scales, they're not getting looked at, and this awesome mirror. And then behind me over this side, you've got another mirror as well, and another Love sink. Swing. So it's quite cool that you've got two sinks, so that, you know, if one person's brushing their teeth here, then I can wash my face here, vice versa. Oh, we've got a hairdryer, all of that sort of stuff. And then the shower is here next to the door. Look at this. You can sit. You in can the sit in the shower. And also, something I've just noticed, look, there's like a little like desk thing. Oh, panel with shampoo. Yeah. So you've got like a little recess oh. thing there with toiletries, yeah. and also it's two showers, Jimmy. So you've got that one there, and you've got one on the ceiling. Look at it. I'm living it. I'm living it. I don't care. I'm living it. Jim's just noticed something cool about this area. So you've got the little bar top there, but also underneath like the way that it's like held up it's like a little guitar neck it is now 8:04 p.m so it has been a really long day in the uk it would be what do we say 2 a.m and we were up this morning at half 4 a.m for a 5 15 shuttle so we're coming up to like 24 hours we've decided instead of going out and finding any restaurants we are gonna do room service tonight it's 24 hours complimentary room service here so Seems like a good idea and then we can chill, we can get washed, we can unpack a little bit and just soak in that view out on the balcony, I think. What do you think? Sounds like a plan to me. Oh, I can't wait. So
So just to explain why we picked this room as well, it's only five floors high and we really wanted a room like with a good view and obviously the higher you are tends to be the better view and um, with a bit of research we found out fifth floor is the top one didn't we? So we saw what blocks were available and then yeah we managed to get this get this room get this view so Definitely worth it. If you want in a high up room, like the fifth floor is as high as you're going to get. The room service you order through the TV. So, you have to you... go on your planet. Yep. Go... And then room service. Yeah, so at the top, well spotted Jimmy, so Planet Hollywood is the home, but you go to your planet and then we need to go to all day dining. So, what are we fancying, gang? I'm not going to have a chicken noodle, to be honest. I don't think anyone does. We'll have a little look through the stars. I don't think I'd mind some fruit. What do you think? Uh, it's hummus that is a sorted cheese plate Ooh. i fancy something fresh so we just need to go down to this oh in my cart there we go and then you press the back button on the oh. flicker all right let's see what entrees we've got we've got a ham and cheese sandwich burger fried chicken fingers club sandwich chicken salad wrap vegan wrap Sp oh spaghetti <laughs> bolognese they have got three desserts here that you can order as well and if you're star class at that club level then they've got some fancy options, but we're not star class. We've decided just to go a regular <laughs> this holiday, haven't we? <laughs> and not only not star class, we just no classes at all. No class at all. <laughs> yeah, no class. I've mentioned star class a couple of times in this video with the separate booking area, the extra things that you get on the room service. So at our time of booking, if we wanted star class for the three of us over two weeks, it was going to be over a thousand pounds. And when we researched it, we feel like we're going to get a cracking holiday without the star class. So we would rather have had that thousand pounds in our pocket. If it was something that you were looking at doing, then you get access to like a separate pool that is just star class. They can have uh, like food around their pool area, which isn't offered in like the standard pools. The other thing is they're allocated someone, I think they call it like a rider, which is like a personal concierge and they can make reservations at all of the restaurants, whereas everyone else it's, you get, you get given like a buzzer, don't you? The only one that you can book on the day is a tapenyaki and you've got to like get there and book it. Whereas, if you've got star class then you you know you can book things a bit more easier there are perks there's also like some sort of spa access and some sort of access to the flow rider other things that would be like an upcharge for us but i mean you've seen that view just sit me on that balcony for two weeks i don't need no star class <laughs> so the only thing we did do was pre-book for this specific room but it was like 60 something quid and we've just had a phone call haven't we jim confirming the room service order and they've said it's going to be about 45 minutes which is fine i'm going to start tinkering with some of the suitcases like putting toiletries away and all that sort of thing i'll put the camera down but i will show you what the room service food looks like when it gets here we're about 40 minutes on and we're living the dream. We've got Jurassic Park on the telly, haven't we? Well, it's just finished. <laughs> just finished and the yeah. room service has come. It looks great, smells good, doesn't it? Oh, nice. So we've ordered the fruit platter, which was a starter, but I just fancied something really fresh. And I've ordered a burger as well. But look at that. That looks like a really nice burger. It does. Doesn't look like dead basic, does it? Yeah, Especially sense. like the toasted bun. And then Jim and Jimmy are sharing these two here. So we've got the chicken fingers and the club sandwich. But that club sandwich looks good as well. It does. Again, just everything is just amazing about Planet Hollywood. I know I've only been here for like... Two hours two now. Hours. <laughs> but everything about it so far. Class. Class. Me and Jimmy have decided to sit up here, haven't we, with the director and actor chairs. <laughs> Tell you what, though, food's good, isn't it? The chicken, as Mum was said this, very American, which is a really good way to describe it. The flavours are great. And then, Dad, do you want to explain the um, sandwich? It's a very nice cookie. <laughs> Not much else to... And that's all i got to say about that. Jimmy's tried to bite my burger as well. He likes to try everything that's, that's on offer, don't you? But yeah, tell you what, absolutely cracking. If I had to give any sort of criticism, it's that it's not red hot. But I don't think you can expect stuff to be red hot coming across it's the good. resort. It's not cold. Yeah, it's not cold. Mm, it's, yeah, it's lukewarm, but it's, it's absolutely fine. And the flavours are there. It is now half nine at night Mexican time which means we've been up for 23 hours <laughs> so it's about time that we've called it a night even though I'm not feeling too tired actually I think now that I've had burgers some melon it's livened me up a little bit I'm ready but... for the, to hit the hay <laughs> oh, now yeah. yeah I'm ready for the set 
we've got Jurassic World on now. It was Jurassic Park earlier. Jurassic World's now come on. Jimmy's chilling. We've managed to fully unpack, which is amazing. I wasn't expecting that today, particularly with how gruelling the flight was. Mm, me too. We're all like falling asleep in the transfer here. We'll end the vlog here and then we will still vlog tomorrow and we'll have like a bit of an explore of the resort and get our sort of first day vibes then. Can't yeah. wait. Lovely. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Cheers Bye. everyone. Bye. So guys, it's the end of the video, so please like, subscribe and you know, do all that good stuff and see you in the next one. Bye bye!